highs there. All right, let's get back to Oliver Slope, Blue Line Futures, uh, coming to us from Chicago. Thanks for being on and waiting so patiently, Oliver. Anything that jumps out of you when we talk about the livestock? Well, if you're looking for some green on the screen, livestock is uh, certainly a better place to look than the grain sector. And one thing that's caught our eyes over the last uh, couple of days has been that lean hog market. It's been one of those markets that's just been beaten and battered for you know what seems like an eternity at this point. But we finally got a big move out above some trend line resistance in that June contract yesterday, which sparked a, a big rally into the close. Uh, we're up, you know, near three bucks on the day. We haven't really gotten a whole lot of follow through, but I still think there is some upside potential in this market. Funds are net short about 24,000 contracts. Doesn't sound like a whole lot on paper, but it is one of their largest net short positions in over five years. So if we continue to get uh, some good cash developments, maybe that spurs some additional short covering and can pu uh, push this market a little closer towards that 95 level, which is the 50 day moving average. Perfect timing. They just told me to wrap in my ear. Always great content. Really appreciate you coming on the show. I love her slope. Blue Line Futures.